Welcome to the Make and Design Podcast. I'm your host, Karina Gardner. On this podcast, we're unraveling the everyday joys and dilemmas of design, making, and business. For makers who want to be designers and for designers who are makers, this is your inside scoop to help you grow your business and bring more creativity to your life. We're about to hit the last 90 days of the year, and it kind of has sparked some thoughts in my head about how I treat the last three months of the year. It's really exciting on January 1st to have your goals all set, to start the new year fresh, and I think there's a lot of power in that. Um, Recently, and by no like because I thought of it I had seen a lot of different people doing these last 90 day type things and so I started doing them and that what I would do was I would set my goals on October 1st which seems like a really funny time to kind of start new goals but what I found was and I've been doing this for a couple years now what I would do is I would sit down I would come up with what I would like to accomplish at the end of the year Like what would make me feel like this year, I just like, I rocked it, right? Like that I was just like, yes, I killed it in this year. So um, I started thinking about that and then I would set up some goals. And then, um, and then I also tried to change some habits or get better at something. And it really just helped me through the holidays because I kind of, kept a little more focused. I I got a little bit better about what I was doing. And then here's the crazy thing. January would roll around and I already knew what I wanted the next year to look like. Like I already knew in my heart, like what needed to happen. And most of the goals I had set either transferred over or they were extensions of the goals I had made for the last quarter of the year. You know, business people always talk about the last quarter of the year. I hardly talk about quarters. That's why I call it the last 90 days, because to me, it's more about the holiday season and what I can get from it, who I can be with. I mean, I think that's something we talk about all the time. And I do feel like many years, I think I would like to be less busy during that time. I would like to do more just with my kids during that time. Um, And so sort of trying to figure all of that out to 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 have a little bit of balance during those last 90 days, I think this is just a really good time to reflect. Now, I know I'm doing this like (laughs) mid-September, so you're still a little out from your 90 days, but you actually need to start thinking now about what you wanna do. And so I will probably sit down towards the end of September and just write down a list of what I would like, like I would like my life to look like, you guys. like. It's so different to make goals than it is to be like, this is what I want my life to look like. How do I live my best life now? And I'm really lucky in that I have this wonderful creative career. I... I'm like making stuff for the holidays starting in the summertime. Um, I get to decorate my house. Um, I get to just do all these wonderful things that have to do with the holidays. You guys know I love crafting. I love sewing. I'm making all the things. So I feel really lucky. And I will add some of that in to the holidays. But I also will do my best to spend time with my kids and do amazing things with them. And when I say amazing things, you guys, sometimes for us, it is just having hot chocolate in the living room with at the fireplace. Like that's all we need. And it just feels like I've regrouped and that I've connected with my my people. So if you needed something like that today, just to talk about like, if you go into the holidays, especially the last 90 days, with an intention of what you really want, what you really want to do. Um, I think it just goes so much better and your expectations are set, right? I think the hardest thing is like for our family, we have a set of traditions and if we can't get to them, I get really, really frustrated. Um, and then I look back and I'm like, that was a missed opportunity. And so if you have those types of things, get them in. If you want to be making and creating holiday stuff, put it on your calendar, put it in your goals. 
Um, one of the things that I do every year is my 25 Days of Christmas. Many of you purchase the album, the 25 Days of Christmas album that I do every year. I do I do them similar every year, but usually with just like different fronts or maybe a different tab system. I love that tradition because it forces me to take a picture every day during the month of December. And it reminds me to do stuff with my kids. So it's just a good tradition for me. I don't do it for the whole quarter. I only do it for Christmas. I should do it for Halloween and I should do it for Thanksgiving. I wish I did, but I have so many other things going on that I feel really good if I can just do it for the 25 days of Christmas. What are your traditions? What are the things that you're doing to be creative in your life? And how are you bringing them to the forefront so that you are living your best life? I think, um, especially when we get tired and frustrated, we end up vegging in front of Netflix or the TV and, um, you guys that like you're not going to remember any of that you're just not you are going to remember having hot chocolate with your kids maybe watching a movie or playing a game with them at our house it's nerds if any of you like nerds that's that's the big game at my house so um my challenge to you is to make sure that your last 90 the days of the year are memorable that you set some awesome goals that will get you to where you want to be and that you end this year happy and glad for the people that are in your life. So it's a little message for me. Now, if you have work goals, design goals, this applies to you too. I know I've concentrated on the family side because that's the side I know I always am trying to work on. Work comes easy to me and so I just want to always, and when I say work, Sewing and crafting (laughs) comes easy to me. I really love it. And so I have to also make sure that I have lots and lots of time for the people too. So um, you guys, hope that you go into the last 90 days. You guys know that um, there's going to be all sorts of holiday stuff. It's already started happening on my Instagram feeds, which you can check out at Karina Gardner and at Karina Gardner Papercrafts and If you are looking for Ink Club, Ink Club has its own feed called at Ink Club Creative. And you can go check that out. And we post our stuff, like the Ink Club stuff. And we also post um, our members stuff, like what they're making. So it's super fun. All right, guys. So excited about the upcoming quarter. I hope you are too. And we'll talk soon. Hey, did you know that you can visit me at makeanddesign.com to learn more about this podcast and join my VIP group for weekly freebies? I can't wait to see you there.